Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2419 in VirtualBox or VMware. I'm going to use VMware for this tutorial, but um, this does require another bio state uh, type thing. So from now on, anybody that's going to install an operating system with uh, that requires a change in the bio state, VirtualBox users you need to um, download MS-DOS uh, 6.22 first so I will leave a link in the description on my video tutorial for that and you need to install MS-DOS first so um, but VMware users you can go straight into the tutorial without having to um, uh, install MS-DOS so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're going to create a new machine and go ahead and select install our disk image and find the ISO. We'll say Windows Whistler Build 2419. Hit next. Select uh, Windows XP Professional as the operating system. Hit next. And you can rename it. I renamed it to Build 2419. Hit next. And then I'm going to store it as a single file. I'm going to make it 10 gigs and hit next. And I'm going to bump up the RAM just a little bit. Hit close and finish. And then we're going to power the machine on. Then you need to go into the BIOS by rapidly clicking and hitting F2 in the machine. It's very, very quick that when they do that. So, And then you need to go to the system date and you need to change it. Um, it does require it to be changed and the bio state you have to change it to is um, January 14th 2001 that's entered in you can leave the time or whatever but you have to change it to January 14th 2001 I'll leave that with the product key in the description with the ISO so then you will hit exit saving changes and then it'll reboot into the uh, Windows Whistler setup and it'll load everything up and set up the starting Windows Whistler loads up it'll get you to the uh, license agreement screen and then all that good stuff so now it'll say uh, something about the evaluation version just hit enter here hit enter again then go ahead and hit F8 to accept the license in terms of agreements install this by hitting enter on that partition Go up to NTFS file system quick, hit enter. It's going to format the drive. And then it will go with the process of copying the files. So this could take some time. So basically you kind of just um, let it go here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we'll hit the reboots and it'll restart the machine and here you'll see the Windows Whistler beta um, one of the beta boot up screens I'm pretty sure this is beta 2 could be beta 1 I'm not really too sure so it'll come up with Windows codename Whistler boot up then it will boot up into the interface right here kind of like Windows XP so it is beta 2 as it says right there And it will 
goes to the um, through the parts of installing Windows, so it'll hit a couple screens here. So when you get to one of these screens, uh, you'll get to this screen first. Just make sure your language is correct and keyboard layout is correct. Hit next. Then you're typing a name. I just typed in the channel name. Hit next. And this is where you enter in the product key. So I'll enter that in quick. This will be in the description. So I'll enter that in quick. And I'll be back with you guys. So when you get the product key entered in, uh, rename the computer. And you can type an administrative password if you want. I'm not going to. Then hit next. Uh, change your time zone to wherever you want. Or wherever you need it to be. And hit next. And then it's going to uh, go through installing network. And another screen will pop up that will uh, ask for some settings here. Or a setting it will want you to choose and you'll want to leave it as the default one that it selects which is TCP IP that is if you have a network adapter um, attached to this or on your computer so it'll come up here typical settings leave it as is hit next you can make it part of a domain if you want but I'm not going to so I'm just gonna leave it as work group and hit next and then it's going to go through the process of uh, copying all the files and installing Windows Whistler onto the uh, virtual hard drive so um, you're gonna just let it sit and it will do its thing and I'll be back with you guys once we uh, hit a restart point or we um, get to another screen. Okay, so once it's finished installing, it'll come up with this message, maybe for some of you. If it does, go on ahead and hit no on this and it will reboot. And VirtualBox users, it'll say press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Don't do that. Or if on VMware you uh, flipped it around so that the CD or DVD is above the hard drive and the priorities, do not do the same thing either. Just let it go through the installation. So it's going to go through the boot screen again. It's going to load up into another set part of the setup of Whistler. If you haven't seen my video of how to install um, Windows Whistler build, I believe it's 2296, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll link that in the description. That's a older build of Whistler that you can check out from it. I'm also going to link the uh, MS-DOS video in the description as well. So here it'll ask uh, to automatically um, correct your screen resolution and color. So go ahead and hit in the future don't show me and hit yes. Then hit yes if you see this. Otherwise, you can just leave it at the default that I had it before. And there should be audio with this. We'll see. Normally, it works for me. Then. So there you go. There is audio. And it'll come up with this little animation. And I'll say thank you. And we'll hit next. And if you want to connect this to the internet, you can. Um, I'm just going to hit S. It doesn't really matter. And no, don't activate. And you can choose either one. I'm the only one that's using this. So I'm going to type in my channel name, hit next, and finish. You have installed Whistler successfully. Now, like I said, it may be some previous videos. I recommend you guys, um, like the VirtualBox users, I recommend you guys try out VMware because normally if VirtualBox doesn't work for like some of the 
beta operating systems that require changing the BIOS state, then you won't have to uh, install MS-DOS. First, you can install the operating system straight from this. So it'll log you in. And that is the default background for Whistler. And there you go. You are logged into Windows Whistler. And if we go ahead and right click on my computer and hit properties, it'll say uh, it'll say Microsoft Windows 2000, but in reality this is Windows Whistler. And you can see it says 2419, that's the build number. So that confirms that this is Windows Whistler 2419. And there you go, that's the tutorial for you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you um, like this video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Um, if it helped you out as well as share it and uh, comment your ideas down below um, or videos coming soon um, it's been kind of nice to pre-record videos um, and just upload every two days for you guys just so I um, if I don't have time I can't upload but if I do have time I just pre-record a ton of videos and then schedule them so I can upload them for you guys and you guys can have new videos every other day so it's been working out pretty well and I'm gonna keep doing that so um, that's it for the tutorial so thank you guys for watching um, subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in the next video